Hi, Logan from Reef Breeders here, and today we're going to talk about our new PRISM ATO. The PRISM ATO comes with everything you need to get started for topping off your tank automatically. It includes a sensor, which has three infrared level sensors. So you have your minimum level, your middle level, and your backup sensor. There's no magnetic float switches involved here. It's super compact, there's no external controller, and everything is self-contained. So let's get started with an unboxing here. So right upon opening you'll see the manual and a package which includes tubing and a holder for your tubing. This is fully adjustable. It fits most size tank trims or sums. Next up we have our sensor which comes with a magnet mount. And here we have our pump, which is also included. And then last but not least, we have our power supply. Now in order to set up your new ATO, we first want to start with cutting the pipe to length. So we have our pump here, and that's going to go in the bottom of our reservoir. And then we have our tubing, and just enough to go from the bottom of the reservoir to the top of the tank that you'd like to put the water in for top off. Now please keep in mind, and we've done this in the video on purpose here, this tank is higher than the reservoir. Now that's to prevent any kind of siphon from occurring after the pump shuts off. With the tubing attached and pre-cut, place your pump in your reservoir. There's a suction cup mount that'll help secure it to the bottom. And then we have our included tubing holder. We're going to put the tubing through, and then push these together to tighten it into place and we're going to securely mount it to the trim of the tank. Next, we're going to work on placing our sensor. So this demonstration tank has a bit of a low water level, uh, but you're typically going to want to end up placing it around here. Generally anywhere where the height of the sensor is lower than the output here, because again, we don't want to create a back siphon. So I'm going to put this right here. And then it has two plugs. They're different sizes. So one is going to be for your power adapter. The other one is for the pump. And they won't fit into the wrong side because they are different sizes. Right, now the power adapter, you see, plug that in. All right, now that we have the pump and the power adapter plugged in, we're gonna plug the power adapter into the wall here. And now you'll see that the pump is not yet activated. That's because the water level is still above the minimum water sensor here. So you'll see, once I pull that up, the pump will activate. And it's going to fill until it reaches the regular water level sensor here. And there it is. So now you're all set up. The water level will be maintained between here and the low level sensor. Now this is about a one half inch gap. Now, so right now it has reached the second sensor of three total. So there's also another sensor up here. Uh, so just in case maybe this one gets covered with algae, hasn't been cleaned long enough, this one will also pick up the water level and shut your pump off. And then it activates once it drops below the prism. One major benefit of the PRISM ATO is its super compact size. You'll see here, it's about the size of a ballpoint pen. That means you could fit it in smaller all-in-one systems, as well as more restricted sump areas. Now the PRISM ATO works with tanks as small as two gallons. I'm using one on my personal tank, which is a seven gallon cube. Uh, the EXO ATO, which is this guy's bigger cousin, is more designed for sumps. This one will work better in an all-in-one system, but that doesn't mean you could count it out of your sump. It'll work in the sump as well. And when I say two gallons minimum, that doesn't mean that it's meant just for small tanks. That means that it'll work better with small tanks. 
most auto top-offs can't handle smaller systems because they have a slower reaction time. Uh, for example, if you're running a small 7-gallon cube, the issue that I ran into is my all-in-one chamber only measures about 3 inches square. So a standard ATO activating pumps for about one second before it reaches the sensor and notices that the level is higher and cuts the pump off. This one reacts almost immediately. It takes less than a second for the, between the time that the pump activates and the time that the pump shuts off. So it has a much faster reaction time, which makes it better for smaller systems. That being said, it can certainly be used on large systems as well, since it relies on three different sensors it reacts to the actual water level. So whether it has to fill a little bit more for larger systems or a little bit less for smaller systems, that's no problem and the infrared sensors can handle that. These are also super easy to maintain. You just install them with the magnet here and then every two weeks to a month or so, you could remove this and wipe it off with a paper towel that's soaked in some RODI water. Maybe give it a vinegar soak every now and then I found on my personal system, it went about three months before the sensor got blocked. In that case, the sensor was blocked with algae, and the pump actually defaults to the off position in this scenario, so I noticed because it hadn't topped off for a while, and my top off reservoir was still full. So it's definitely a handy feature where it defaults to the off position, and it makes it a more reliable unit. Another thing I'd like to bring up in this video is the optional N30 ATO. Now the N30 ATO is kind of similar to those RODI float switches that you might have seen for your RODI system. The main difference here is that it comes with a magnetic mount, so you could add this to any tank or sump. We've also included an adapter so that it'll work with the N30 ATO tubing. Now this, is, this doesn't restrict you to the uh, PRISM ATO at all. In fact, you could use it with RODI systems, you could use it with the XO ATO, or any other auto top-off system that uses quarter-inch tubing. Now the way that this works is it's a manual shut-off float switch. So whenever the water reaches a certain point, it'll actually trigger the float and physically shut off the water. So even if the pump is still running, no water will be able to enter your system past a certain point. Thank you for watching. For more information on the Reef Breeders PRISM ATO, visit us at www.reefbreeders.com.